I'm super excited to be taking you around a day of design with me and my team today at DecorX. Some of you who are in the UK will know all about DecorX. It is a design fair full of suppliers, manufacturers for interior design and design in general, art amongst many, many other things. DecorX happens once a year and it's really important for me and my team as designers and always scheming, always designing, really important for us to be there to get to know new suppliers, to meet existing suppliers, but also to see you know, the new designs that are coming up um, that don't frankly look the same online as they really do in the flesh. So really seeing these designs come to life um, from some suppliers that we already know and like I said, some that are new. So not only is today a really special day because it's DecorX. It's also very exciting for me because I will be doing a talk with Hyde House at their stand at DecorX, which is in a really great location right at the front of the exhibition. And it's a great opportunity for us to sort of talk to one of our suppliers. Hyde House are a bespoke furniture maker, and we're talking all things lighting, furniture, and bespoke, as well as trends. So I'm going to take you around some of the suppliers I went to see. I won't be able to take you to all of the different suppliers because there are so many, but I will take you around a few select suppliers that I've been to see today. So take a look. Okay, so this is um, Tiger Moth Lighting and actually there's um, th this chandelier that you see up above is actually one that um, I've seen before and really liked. But again, it looks like there's an alabaster on the lights and I think it's one of those that, again, really you need to be here to see how, you know, how effective it really is. The color of the brass is really pretty. These are also actually gorgeous. Do you know what? It's, they're so, look at the construction of this and how, you know, how pretty all of the different edging and the details are. You know, just that sort of extra line um, down here and the rougher edges, really, really stunning. All of that hammered metal, um, but just done in such an elegant, soft way. So that was very lovely. Um, and that was the owner of Tiger Moth, who is particularly charming. So this is Hux, which is modern British craftsmanship. And I believe they are joiners. Um, and actually I've seen them before. We haven't actually used them ourselves, um, but I think they do some really nice work. So it's worth kind of coming and having a look. Um, okay, so yeah, you could just, you know, this is all so important to see. And you know, often you see at Decorex a lot of different furniture supplies, but what's really nice is to actually see some joinery manufacturers and just to see the detail of, you know, the work they do, especially if, you know, you haven't used a particular joiner before. What's really nice is actually to come and appreciate the kind of work they do and all joiners really should should come to Decorex um, so that everybody can see the quality of what they do because it's a lot of money that you spend on joinery. Over here we've got United Alabaster. Now I don't actually know this company but I love Alabaster so it's definitely going to be one that I should take a look at. And these are really interesting so I hope the girls have taken the card. How interesting is this? This would be great over a desk area um, or even a dining table, perhaps. Really lovely. Oh, we've come across another one of my favorites. Now, I love Coco Vara lighting. And um, this is actually a stunning piece. And behind me, again, is one of these really fabulous pendant lights. I absolutely love this. Um, I love its simplicity and just the way you know you sort of get this burst of crackles okay so in so in fact i am just a, i've literally just seen this from another stand and i actually found this supplier very very randomly as i was looking for something really unique for um, a client in central london and i'd come across this i think i came across this but maybe as a as a desk version and i fell in love with it and i did not expect to see it here um, but it's absolutely fabulous, maybe even more fabulous, and it says please do not touch, so I'm not going to touch, but it's absolutely fab even more fabulous than I think, you know, it looked online, and it, that really does, you know, that really does run true, I think, for most of the things that you see here, and that's why it's so important to be at an event like this, because of course, you know, you do 
get to really touch everything, you get to see the size of everything and you know, really appreciate the finishes. Um, this is absolutely stunning. It's called Object by Tom Vaughan. So this is the stand where we'll be talking, which is very exciting. <laughs> okay, so my name is Nora Trochevci. I am the director and founder of Celine Interior Design. We set the company up 12 years ago, and I had been prior to then an aviation finance lawyer, so completely different to <laughs> what I'm doing now. But actually, what I found most interesting about the change wasn't the change itself, which to me came quite naturally. But what I found interesting was that everybody was shocked by the massive transition or what they thought was a massive transition. Now, I'm from a background where, you know, if you asked me what I wanted to do when I was a little girl, I wanted to do everything. You know, I wanted to do law and food and activewear and fashion and interiors and everything. So for me, it wasn't this big jump. But, you know, for everybody else, I think in our society, we're told, you know, what's, what do you want to do in your life? You know, like there's only one thing. Whereas I think today, you know, we're aware that there's so much you can do and it's okay to want to do so many things. Um, so I think that's the most interesting part of my uh, beginning of my career. So this is such a funny subject for <laughs> designers, I think, because we are many designers and I definitely was previously very averse to the word trends and just the whole principle behind it. But if I am seeing a big trend overall, whether it, you know, throughout the creative industry, throughout the art world, it's definitely that, like I said, we are being more inspired um, by social media. And actually, you know, there is this trend of ending up with this more unique voice, pulling in, you know, I may see something from a, um, you know, from a classic interior designer who does more, you know, more classic furniture and, and feel like I can pull something like that into my designs, making my designs maybe less contemporary, but more bespoke. And I think there's a trend definitely towards, you know, having this more unique voice, but also a trend towards buying more bespoke, you know, and that's where you come in, because I think, you know, you can't merge lots of different styles without making them, you know, changing enough of the details that they actually feel seamless. So I think there's a trend towards bespoke, a trend towards feeding other styles throughout your own designs. Um, and, you know, if there are two big trends, you know, not just in my, you know, within my design house, but within the creative world in general, I think that that must be it. From a technical perspective, I think, you know, of course, as designers, we analyze the weights of a light, um, the warmth of a light, the, you know, the, 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 the size of a light. But actually, you know, when it comes to the specific temperature in Kelvin, we leave that to the, you know, we leave that to the specialists. But what we do focus on is lights no longer as a functional piece. You know, we all expect our lights to work, don't we? We all expect them to go on. We all expect them to illuminate. But where we start to look at lighting differently from an aesthetic perspective, I think we're looking at lighting today more as artwork so that it melts into the scheme. I mean, you know, here, here's a perfect example because it really does, you know, melt into the scheme of what you've got going on, you know, into the rug and the furniture and the tables. And it just sort of, you know, it doesn't feel like you've placed a light in the middle of the room. Whereas I think many, many years ago, as you were saying, you'd have this big central chandelier and, you know, it would be, you know, that's what you would notice in the middle of the room. It's no longer only a central feature. It's about layering and making it feel like it just melts into the whole scheme. I love the word mood because to me, that is all about, um, you know, that's the most powerful thing we do as, in, as designers. You know, we are able to change the mood, the state of a human being instantly without you even feeling it. And I think lighting is probably the most powerful way of doing it. And I'm going to give you an example because I gave this example to my daughter yesterday in bed um, as I was trying to explain to her what I meant. And I said to her, you know, imagine walking into a spa, which she doesn't often do, to be fair, but I mean, imagine walking into a spa and the, and the immediate feeling you get from walking from the outdoors into a spa. And of course, you know, yes, you've got the scent, yes, you've got the, you know, the, you know, the different elements of the space. But 
The lighting is a massive part of that. And then you walk into off the street, you know, God forbid, hopefully none of you, but you walk off, off the street into, you know, an NA and E. And you know, there's an immediately different state change and it is only the lights. You know, the power of a designer to be able to change the human state instantly without you even feeling it gives us, you know, this, you know, it, there is something about that as a designer that I think is very unspoken, you know, but it's one of the greatest things that we can do and it's one of the greatest things we can offer to, um, to our clients and, and to each other and in our own homes. Um, you know, we all go to the gym to have more endorphins so we feel better and we might see a counsellor to feel better about something and we might eat better food to feel better about something, but we never think about how actually a designer can immediately change your state just by, you know, playing with the lights or you know, doing some really subtle things. So I think it's, you know, mood for me is everything um, when it comes to interior design. Um, and I think it is, like I said, the, one of the most powerful things we do. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for me. Um, it's been a really special day. I mean, I can't go through with you every single brand here because there's so much going on, but... Sorry, hi, how are you? I'm fine, oh, it's good to see hello. you. Hello, nice to see you, <laughs> sorry. Um, but it has been an incredibly exciting day. There's just so much going on. Um, it's hard to take it all in, actually. Uh, but I'm going to have to do some running around on my own. Meanwhile, I hope you've enjoyed the day at Decorex. And uh, you might even get some snapshots of my team. Right, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you might get some snapshots of my team walking around. Keep an eye on them because they might not be doing what they should be doing. No, I think they are. I think they are. Um, they're so happy to be here, actually, which is why I'm, you know, I'm really grateful that we've all come together as a team um, here because sometimes, you know, we've got to be at these events that you know, only one person can attend or only a few people can attend. So it's really wonderful that today we actually got to be here all together. So, um, you know, you will see them uh, in and out and hopefully a glimpse of what they're doing. And like I said, hopefully they are being good. I hope you have enjoyed the day at Decorex with us. Uh, and I hope to see you very soon. This is Harriet, everybody. I think they know me now. <laughs> know you know. I've been here long yeah. enough. <laughs> Harry, what was your favorite part of the design show? I loved the carpets. Did you? I know, I Rogue actually loved one, the carpets, yeah. But I actually didn't know that many carpet suppliers. Yeah, there are, thought, there are lots. I've got the details of all of them. Yeah, there are lots. And because of the project coming up, big spaces, yeah. and I think... Sorry, I'm out of breath. No, upstairs. but also I think you're right. The car rugs and carpets are so important to see because you only ever get them yay big. So yeah, and just seeing see the actual them... details. I mean, I went to go see a glow-in-the-dark rug today. Did you? I didn't think... <laughs> I don't think I... <laughs> it wasn't what I was expecting. Was and if I really... use it, I don't know. But it was really cool. For like a five-year-old? No, I think it could be in an adult's room as well. No way. It was I've a got, disco adult's room. Yeah, it might be on the YouTube because I talked about it. <laughs> yeah, so. Well, um, I mean, it sounds very cool. No, um, and just like the details that they had put into it, like the gold detailing yeah. around the edges, and it was just beautiful. Yeah. And it was just interesting to see because, I mean, usually I, I'd go towards the furniture and the fabrics, yeah. but this time I actually gravitated towards the carpets. So I just thought it was good to know the suppliers and just to get a better understanding of what's possible with a carpet as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. So No, I agree. I loved part. I loved Silka yes. um, rugs. They did some great rugs and they did one that was I think totally um organic so that they would they would I think remove anything so anything in terms of waste, they would then use to recycle, which I thought was incredibly yeah, clever. Yeah, I think we need to consider that more and more. But sustainability, I think, is important today, it, probably for all um, supplies, right? So I think everybody's becoming more aware and thinking yeah. more about it. But it's nice to see, for me, definitely, it was nice to see what Silka did. I think that was really interesting. Okay, so, Mahek. Yes. What or who was your favorite supplier today? Hmm. Um, there were many to be fair, yeah. there were really, really many, but I loved seeing uh, new wallpapers from Arte. Yeah, they, they have were great beautiful papers. yeah, because they've always been very colorful, yeah, but this time they were a lot more subtle and muted, but had lots and lots of textures, which yeah. was beautiful. 
um, ginger brown with their new uh, blue. I agree. Um, blue mother of pearl. Absolutely, they had some really it was nice. Beautiful. And it is natural, which yeah. was beautiful. Really nice tables. Did you see the two smaller side tables? The smaller yeah. and the bigger. That they were. They were beautifully. beautiful. Yeah. I thought of those for a client of yeah. yours. Who was the supplier you enjoyed speaking to the most? That would be Ginger Brown. Oh, Ginger Brown. Because, <laughs> because I've been working closely with them for yeah. a project. So then, and they were, of course, very, very interactive and very encouraging. And yeah. they said, yeah, we will send you a box full of these samples. Yeah. So it was really nice. But all of them were, in fact, very yeah, nice. Really helpful. Yeah. No, they were lovely today. Yeah. And it's a beautiful big space. And it was amazing to sort of be out of the office. Yeah. And to what see... What are you saying? <laughs> no, it was really nice to actually... Something that you see on screen and then you go and yeah. see it in real. It opens up your mind. This is actually my second decorative okay. experience, but my first was long time ago. Yeah, so it's completely different now. So it's now. completely different now. Yeah. And it's bigger. Was it in... When you first went, was it in the same location as it is now? No. No, because no. this location is fantastic. It's very nice. It was very nice. Yeah, and so easy to get to. Very easy. Yeah. yeah. Very easy. <laughs> Mariana, how was your Decorex day? It was very exciting, actually. It was the first time that we kind of like had the opportunity this year to go to an ex such a nice exhibition, all of, our t all of the team yeah. in the office. And I loved, I was quite surprised because I'm from Portugal and there was a lot of like Portuguese suppliers. A lot. I noticed <laughs> that and I was wondering, is Mariana going to walk around and actually know who's Portuguese? There were some brilliant Portuguese suppliers. And we actually worked with one of them in the past, which is yeah. Serip, yes. the lighting um, a company based in Lisbon. And I didn't know and asked my colleagues, ah, did we work with them in the past? And they were like, yes, of yeah, course. Yeah. So I had the opportunity to meet them there. And they're like, they have they have beautiful stuff, beautiful yeah. work there. It's quite delicate, but it's so elegant. And the yeah. fact that they do everything bespoke in terms of lighting configurations, uh, it was lovely to meet them. And obviously, m lovely to meet all of the other international suppliers as well. A little bit of bias towards the Portuguese suppliers. <laughs> Mariana's Portuguese, so it was, I mean, it must have been very nice for you to see. Mm, for me, it was very There was one Portuguese supplier that I actually loved, and I had never met them before. They had, I don't know if you saw this, and I don't remember the name of the supplier, but they yeah. had um, kind of paper leaf, paper gold leaf um, chandeliers, and it was exquisite. I had, you know, never seen anything like it. I took wow. pictures. So I'll find the name, but it was phenomenal. Phenomenal. Really, really wow. special. If you could have picked any item for your own home, what would it have been? Uh, I think um, I saw an amazing embroidery artist and there was like a beautiful art piece made or, or made of embroidery uh, um, detailing on a canvas. So I would definitely go for that. Uh, I love detail details. Uh, so uh, maybe that would be an, a nice option to have uh, in my home. To yeah, kind and, of like and embroidery is so special because actually it doesn't, you know, people immediately assume embroidery is just for cushions and soft furnishings, whereas actually embroidery can be such a beautiful, can be made into such a beautiful piece of artwork. Definitely, I completely agree with you. Lola, who was your favorite supplier at Decorex? I had two, okay. actually, to be specific. Actually, yesterday, when I was on Instagram, I was looking for lampshades yeah. for Celine's room. And <laughs> I came across this supplier called Ian Sander. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Ian Sanderson okay. Textiles. And they had these lampshades that were, like... Pleated. Really pleated and, like, curvy oh, and nice. pink and, like, different tones of green. Oh, wow. Um exactly what I was looking for. So I literally just screenshotted that yesterday on my Instagram. So today when I saw it... Oh, you like, saw oh. them there? Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, that's lovely. And I actually saw the lampshade, which they were great. It is so nice to find something online and then see it in person. And actually, and actually yeah. be totally breathtaking by it. Because sometimes things are underwhelming, but sometimes you'll see something that you found and it really is overwhelmingly be yeah. beautiful, even more so than you know, online. Did you see the ceramic supplier that we, they're kind of, it's like a ceramic wall art. Uh, so they've Olivia got the vases. Yes. Something. Olivia. Yes. Walker. Olivia Walker. Yeah. Wow. That was incredible. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That, that was, was incredible. My <laughs> and my second supplier okay. was Heirlooms. 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 That's it. Um, they do bed linen 
they it's do like some linens. beautiful bed linen. Oh, yeah. it was incredible. They and they had one where I think the lady mentioned she got some kids from school to just do some drawings. Oh wow! And then they actually made like an. Oh, I did not see that. See, I feel like I need to go. Which is pretty. Um, yeah, that's lovely. I feel like we need to go again with um, flat shoes, trainers, which we're not allowed to wear in the office. <laughs> and be comfortable. And, be, and wear caps <laughs> um, and stick our hair up or hair down. And then, <laughs> and then literally just walk around, not saying hello yeah. to anyone, because it's so wonderful to say hello. But I felt like, because, you know, we were speaking to so many people, I couldn't really get through enough. Yeah, yeah, I understand. That makes sense. So, uh, you know, I, we were... But I we was, were able to do you those were chats to. for you. <laughs> so but then we, I kept, we got the information. Yeah, you got the information. <laughs> but, okay, so, Anna, what was your favourite bit of Decorex? Obviously, your talk no. Of no, course. Yeah. <laughs> um, I just loved it. It was my first design show. So I was, it was exciting to see. Yeah. And I loved all these little... Yeah, I love to see all these stuff. We normally just see samples of in action and big pieces. Yeah, and, and online. Yeah, <laughs> I never really see them. Actually, some of them, even I... Or just on images. Yeah, some of them, even to me, were breathtaking in real life. Yeah. Like, they look great on... They look great online, but to see them in the flesh is something else. Um, what was your least favourite part of Decorax? I mean, it was a bit busy. <laughs> it was busy. Yeah, yeah. It was a, um, but good busy. It wasn't pushy yeah, busy. Yeah, no. No, it was good. Today is day... Can you think of anything bad right now. No. Today's day two. Yeah. We could have, uh, well, I think for me the negative was not being able to spend more time there. Yeah. But, I because mean, you could spend all day. Yeah. It was really pretty. Right? And I didn't go and see, did you go and see the restaurants? I didn't see any. No, we just went upstairs to see the designers. Oh. To see the designers? What yeah, designers? they're like some, there was like, can I say names? Yeah. Christian Benz, for example. I just looked at it because he ordered quite a bit of smooth handle fabric from us. Oh, I didn't so know he did like a, upstairs. He did like just a setup of a table and background and chandelier. Oh, that's really so that nice. Cool. I heard about this. So Decorex, you're right. So Decorex, I think this year, which I didn't go and see, it would be nice to actually go and see. But Decorex this year, I think, did four different designers or a number of different designers yeah. who set up an area. Yeah, it so was I, like a dining room kind of. Oh, that's setup. nice. So they did a setting. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Point to note for next year. Um, I did not see that, actually, but yeah. we because we had to rush off. But... Um, there was so much to see. Yeah. So you would have gone to see more designers? Would you have gone? Where would you have gone if you could have done I think more? I would have spent a bit more time on the actual stands. Like, looked yeah. at, because there was Moons as well, right, for example, and we ordered quite a bit from Moons, so I could have oh. looked into their new collection a bit more. I didn't see them. Yeah, they were really big, and they had loads of new... Wow. Stuff, yeah, so oh, I would wow. have maybe looked a bit more. Yeah, that's a shame. Maybe you and I can pop in tomorrow. Again. <laughs> Do a sneaky lunch hour <laughs> at Decorex. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty. Would you go again? Yeah, for sure. But tomorrow we go somewhere else, right? But tomorrow? Tomorrow we go on another design. Oh, I didn't know that. Pad. Pad? Pad, Oh, yeah. we're going to Pad tomorrow. Oh my gosh, London is just full <laughs> of design events. So tomorrow is Pad. So within the same... I mean, so it's great to be in London at this time of year because you get to do Decorex, Pad, and then Freeze. Freeze oh, Masters, that's what you put on Wednesday. which is Wednesday. Yeah. So we've literally got Monday Decorex, Tuesday Pad, Wednesday Freeze. So I mean, it is a full-on design <laughs> week, which is yeah. great. Yeah. Great week. So if you're interested in coming to London, September is the <laughs> right time. I really hope you have loved being with us at Decorex today. We are going to list down below all of the different suppliers that we've mentioned and talked about today. And of course, if you want a better look at Decorex, the best, the best thing to do is actually go to Decorex um, next year if you can, if it's too late to go this year. And it's always in September. It's a fantastic location. It's now in Olympia in London, which makes it really, really easy for everybody and accessible. So really do try and go. It's a fantastic show. And I hope you've enjoyed the video.